My name is Harry Dresden, wizard. So far as I know, the only professional wizard around. When you run an ad in the yellow pages about being a professional wizard, you get all kinds of crazies and weirdos coming through your door. But every now and then, someone comes through your door that can really knock you on your butt. When a vampire of the white court comes into one's own office and wants to hire you, you tend to wonder about one's own grip on reality. The Dresden Files Created by Jim Butcher Bob! Bob, wake up! Uh, what's up, boss? I've got some new kind of trouble you need me to get you out of. Bob, I need... some advice on women? No, Bob, I want you to... Or, or maybe you need advice on how to bag that hot female cop friend of yours, hmm? Bob... Or maybe we can make you a love potion to help you fill in those long and cold, lonely nights, Harry. Bob, will you please just focus for a minute, please? Oh, wow, Harry. It seems to me that you need to get some worse than I originally thought. <sighs> Bob, I need you to help me summon Ulsharavas again. Oh, no. Not again, Harry. The last time you summoned it, you used a Cabbage Patch doll as its vessel. Don't worry, I got something better. Oh, dear. He's thinking again. Now we are in trouble. You can't be serious! What?! It was left over from Billy's bachelor party. Are you trying to make it mad at you, Harry? Look, it didn't like the Cabbage Patch doll, and this was the only other thing I could think of. <sighs> oh, God, we're doomed. <sighs> Bob, can we get on with this, please? Now, let's see. Where's my whiskey and chewing tobacco? It seemed to like it last time I summoned it. <sighs> Top shelf, far left bookcase. Ah, and my chalk? In your pocket. God, we are so doomed. That's what I love about you, Bob. Always the optimist. I might be if you weren't out there taking stupid risks like this, Harry. Come on, Bob. She's a guardian of memory. What could she do? Oh, let's see. She's a guardian of memory, yes. What can she do? Well, she can bring down a death curse on you, or form a blight, or maybe turn you into a hellhound, or make you into a zombie slave, I get or... the picture! I get the picture! <sighs> Why the circle of chalk, Harry? Isn't the copper ring in the floor enough? <sighs> a little out of protection, Bob. Just in case it does get mad at me, it never hurts to have an added layer of defense. Ulsharavas. 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 One lost in ignorance seeks you. One darkened by the lack of knowledge seeks your light. Come, guardian of memory, sentinel of the yet to come. Accept this offering and join me here. Welcome, Oracle. I and Bob the Skull seek your counsel yet again. Don't drag me into this. <sighs> I seek your counsel yet again, Oracle. Oh, really? Did I say or do something to you in a past life, Dresden? You didn't like the Cabbage Patch doll. What else was I supposed to do? 
Oh, my anything but this. Oh, you better have some damn good booze and chew for me, Dresden. Only the best in town, Oracle. From McAnally's pub, directly from Mac's personal stock. By the gods, that was good. <laughs> So, what can I do for you, Dresden? Um, isn't it bad manners to talk with your mouth full? Oh, God. Hmm? No, I could always leave if you want. <sighs> no, that's okay. I wanted to ask you. Oh, yes, I know. So you want to know the real reason why the White Court hired you, huh? Yeah. What can you tell me? <laughs> Have you forgotten how this works, Dresden? However, before we get to that, let me give you this little bit of warning. You are a big thorn in a lot of Empire Court sides, but you know that already. Lately, they have been sending you a lot of business your way. And there's a reason for it. The work is legit, and when you complete it, they too pay up, right? But the reason that they're coming to you is mainly because they have nothing to lose. You see, the more dangerous the jobs, the more likely you'll be killed in the process. So it's a win-win for them. If you get killed during a case, they're rid of a very large thorn in their side. And if you complete the case, they find out what's wrong on their end and they fix it so you're none the wiser. Wait, wait. The vampire courts have been sending me off in all these cases lately? How long has this been going on? Oh, you didn't know. Only about this latest case, and I wanted to consult with you before actually taking it. It's pretty serious. I can imagine. My price is the same as before, Dresden. The answer to a single question. And that is? Why is it, after knowing that the vampire courts are behind all of your latest cases... Why are you going to continue? Seriously? Oh, come on. Always. <sighs> Mainly because innocent people are in danger. <sighs> no one else can do what I can do. And if they could, there'd be a lot less suffering in this world. And if I can, in my own small way, reduce that, who am I hurting? Why, yourself, mainly. People already look at you like you're crazy. Not to mention talking about you behind your back and laughing at you. Yet you still put your life on the line for them on a daily basis. It would be so much easier, not to mention safer, to just turn a blind eye and use your powers to make your life so much better. With your power, you could easily live in comfort and ease, and yet you live here. Because someone has to do it! Oh, come on, and it has to be you? Name someone else who can or has the power to. You're a very good man, Harry Dresden, and it's an honor to know you. The reason the White Court wants to hire you is by the recommendation of the Lord Wraith's daughter. Laura? Why would she want me on a case when she knows Thomas and I are half-brothers? You know, you know, I would guess that she knows that you can do it by personal experience and by her confrontation with you previously. So she knows I can handle myself, and that I have the power to back it up. And that you'll do whatever it takes to protect innocence, even at the risk of your own skin. <laughs> what can I say? I hate bullies. No kidding. <laughs> so what are you going to do now? Don't you know? Uh, I'm a spirit of memory, Dresden, not a psychic. Well, shit rolls downhill. <laughs> So I guess we'll start with our suspect's flunkies and see where they lead me. Very well, then. I shall take my leave of you. Okay. Thanks for your help. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, Dresden? Yes? If you ever put me in a blow-up sex doll again, the vampire courts will be the least of your worries. I'm having a lot of trouble with the women in my life lately. I tried to tell you.
You have been listening to The Dresden Files, created by Jim Butcher. Featured in the cast were Thomas Barnes as Harry Dresden, Steve Robbins as Bob the Skull, and M.J. Cogburn as Ushadavas. Written and directed by Thomas Barnes, with sound mixing and post-production by Thomas Barnes. Extra special thanks to Steve Robbins and M.J. Cogburn, without whose help this last-minute project would never have been possible. Thanks, team.